Right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, I've recently been looking a lot online at new like Venus flytrap plants um, and as it, it happened last year, as winter came, I really got into carnivorous plants um, and I did buy some uh, Venus flytraps last year which I'll show you in a moment. I just wanted to do like a video um, showing them closer and just giving a little bit more detail, not too much detail because I don't really know that much about them. Well, I know a bit but I'm not going to claim to be an expert and um, I was looking on YouTube um, last night at people's fly, like Venus flytrap collections and there's really not that many on there and like the most recent ones that were uploaded that I could find were like six months ago so I thought I would upload one myself and just show you guys which ones I have I don't have that many but I keep some um, in my greenhouse and then I keep some up in my room Don't be scared. Come here, look. My dog has come to join me. <laughs> she's never allowed in here, that's why she's acting really scared. Because I always tell her to get out. Alright, go on then. Go! Um, so I'm just going to be showing you guys my Venus flytrap collection and give you a little bit of information about them. So I'll turn the camera around and I'll give you a closer look. Right, so I do only currently keep three individual plants outside in my greenhouse at the moment um, which I'll quickly go through with you so the oldest two are these two I bought these last um, last it was probably about it was like either spring last year or like late winter last year and this one is a Dione um, Muscipula um, B52 um, I've shown this in one of my recent videos but I just wanted to do like a video of just my fly traps and you can see in this trap he's caught uh, he's caught a like a mosquito and this one has had quite a few aphids on it recently but I have managed to get rid of all the aphids and um, well I do check it every every couple of days um, these little dots that you can see some of them are just like bits of sand because the soil I use is quite gritty so what I'm hoping to do this year is when they go to flower I'm going to not let them flower but I'm going to cut the stalk off when it's quite long and then propagate it that way to hopefully get more and then I can expand my collection that way. So that is the B52 which is probably currently my favourite one because of how beautiful it looks at the moment and it's currently January so he's got his thicker more um, like resting leaves for the winter. This one is the um, Dracula, and they do get quite a bit more colour in the summer, but this one um, doesn't really have too much colour at the moment. Um, this is the same age as that one, I bought them both on eBay. I did pay quite a, a bit for these, um, I think together they came to, uh, including postage, I think it was, uh, I feel like it was about 25 quid, something like that, so quite expensive in my opinion, but I'm not sure whether that's good or bad um, it depends on whether you can or like whether you can get them online or not at the time of year you want them I suppose uh, but this one's looking really nice they're all looking really healthy I haven't I, d I haven't really cut many old leaves off so they're looking really good that one looks oh that's so you can see there's new leaves coming up here but it looks like there's something going on just down there under that leaf. I don't know if that's like a new... Oh no, that's just an old leaf there, so... But they do spread uh, via their rhizomes as well. So hopefully they'll do that a bit more next year. Um, so yeah, I've got my um, Dracula there, which really nice. Got the nice serrated like teeth rather than the long, long teeth. Um, then here I've got my red piranha, which is looking probably the least impressive out of all of them so far. Um, I got this one from Hampshire Carnivorous Plants, the other two were from eBay. So this one was really nice in the summer, I'll try and up, I'll try and stick a picture on screen now um, of what it looked like in the in the summer, but I only got this last, I well I think I got this last like, it was like late summer, early autumn, and there are a lot of young ones spreading around the bottom, you can see like down here. So hopefully next year they'll they'll get big enough that I can divide them all up and hopefully get some more plants on that. 
then I do have some flytrap seedlings in here which I received the seeds for free when I ordered from Triffid Nurseries and they are the ones that I've just sprinkled in this container. I just placed them on, on the top of the moss and they've kind of just sprouted up themselves. They only took about two weeks to sprout, like to germinate, but they've taken such a long time to get to any decent size. So these are almost almost a year old now. And you can see there's a tiny one just here. Sorry about my nails, I've been out in the garden. And then there's two there which are nicer sizes especially this larger one there that's looking really good and then there's another small one here now when they're this young they don't necessarily need dormancy to stay healthy um, and the cephalotus itself doesn't need dormancy either so I probably will be bringing that indoors very soon um, as we get into later January and then February uh, our winter does get a little bit worse so I think I'm gonna skip the worst of it and bring them inside um, not these ones, these will stay outside. These three are going to stay in my greenhouse over winter, but I'll bring this inside. Um, and then I'm going to take you up to my room and we're going to look at the fly traps that I have in my room. Right, and lastly I have two more seedlings. They're not in frame at the moment, so... Um, but these I bought seeds um, on eBay, which were supposedly red sawtooth Venus fly traps. But then after sowing them and starting to grow them, I researched a little bit more and the chances of you getting like them true from seed is very, very low. So um, I probably wouldn't do that again. But let me try and focus it. Um, here you can see one, one seedling here, which again is almost a, a year old now. Oh, sorry, this, this is the part that's got the two seedlings in. So one we have is... Uh, one there is the big green one which you can see clearly at the moment doesn't resemble anything uh, like a red sawtooth but if you look a little bit closer to um, just here there's a very very small one now they're both the same age um, but this one you can't really see on screen but is a lot uh, more red so a lot of the older leaves are close to the ground and they are like deep red and then you've got that one little new leaf coming up which is a little bit more green. Now I think the reason that's a bit more green is because um, these haven't been in a very sunny position for about a month. Which also explains why these two leaves here are very etiolated and they're growing quite long. Um, compared to the ones that are on the ground as you can see a bit better there. So that is two of the seedlings there. I then have one more. Um, just here which um, from the exact same seed uh, like packet um, let me try and get that to focus a little better and it's interesting that this pot has absolutely hardly any moss but it's got like that tiny bit there um, and then the other one is entirely covered in moss it's quite interesting but this one again has no resemblance to a red sawtooth at the moment I know when they're young they do look entirely different to when they mature but um, I'm still gonna keep them and hopefully they all turn out to be something interesting and not just regular um, fly traps. But if you do know a bit more about um, growing them from seed, do leave um, a comment in the description, um, in the comment section, just to let me know your experience with them and any advice that you do have. Um, I just wanted to share these with you. I'll quickly turn the camera around. So um, I didn't mention, but those two have been growing under my grow light for the past, well, not directly under it, they've been like next to it. So they're getting just light from kind of a sideways angle. And that's why they're not doing that great at the moment. I mean, they're really healthy, but um, like I said, this one's just growing really long and it's growing like to, to, like kind of towards the light. So I'm gonna uh, move their position. I'll put those a bit more under the light now, um, just to improve their growing structure. Um, but that is all of my Venus fly traps that I have at the moment. I did recently purchase two free online. I purchased two cup traps, which I'll stick a picture here, which I'm so excited to get. Um, I thought that maybe they'd come today, but I think they're going to come tomorrow. So, um, and then I purchased one, um, it was called a mega trap, which I'll stick a, a picture here as well of that one. And I'm quite looking forward to those coming and hopefully hopefully they may flower this summer but I'm not going to expect them to um, I'm hoping the two that are in my no the three that are in my greenhouse are going to flower this year and I'll be able to propagate those 
and show you guys how to propagate those. Um, I haven't done that myself, but my friend over at um, Carnivorous Plant Girl, you would have seen here on YouTube, um, she propagates them by the the stalk and she's kind of shown me how to do it, so I'm gonna give it a go. But um, if you enjoyed this video, I'll be doing a lot more videos on carnivorous plants this year and I also do a lot of houseplant videos and I'm gonna be doing um, videos on my garden this year as well. So if you are interested in any of what I've just mentioned, please make sure you are subscribed and like this um, video and leave a comment if you would like um, any more information or if you've got any questions or if you have a favorite fly trap, definitely let me know, that'd be really interesting. Um, but I hope you guys all enjoyed and thank you so much for watching.